tell you what's going on. DJ Stingray just getting started. And yes, the man is here. So I'm going to start the show. Probably do the first hour. Liza is on her way. And we're going to have some fun today. I was telling Q, you know, we don't have to stop at three. We, we could go a little longer. So, you know, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But we're definitely going to have some fun today. Looking forward to everything. Uh, we're going to have uh, interviews in between the show. Uh, so you can get to know the man uh, that is here blessing us with a set today. So, with that being said, let's get the show started. Tribal Life Radio. Let's go. Oración al empezar la reunión. Rogamos al Señor Todopoderoso. Nos envía buenos espíritus para asistirnos. Alejen a los que pudieran inducirnos en el error y que nos den la luz necesaria para distinguir la verdad. Separa también a los espíritus malévolos, encarnados o desencarnados, que podrían intentar poner la discordia entre nosotros, desviarnos de la caridad y el amor del propio. Si alguno pretendiera introducirse a ti, hacer que no encuentre acceso en ninguno de nosotros. Espíritus buenos, que os tendáis venir aquí a instruirnos. Hacednos dóciles a vuestros consejos y desviad de nosotros el egoísmo, el orgullo, la envidia y los celos. Inspiradnos indulgencia y benevolencia para nuestros semejantes, presentes y ausentes, amigos y enemigos. de caridad, humildad y abnegación de que nos sintamos animados, reconozcamos nuestra saludable influencia. A los mediums, a quienes encarguéis de transmitirnos nuestras enseñanzas, dadles la conciencia de la santidad, del mandato que les ha sido confiado y de la gravedad del acto que van a cumplir, con el fin de que tengan el fervor y el recogimiento necesario. Si en esta reunión se encontrasen personas que fuesen atraídas por otro sentimiento, que no sea el del bien, abridle los ojos a la luz y que Dios les perdone si vienen con malas intenciones. Rogamos muy particularmente al espíritu de este ser, nuestro guía espiritual, que nos asista y vele sobre nosotros.
Tribal Life Radio has arrived. <laughs> Hello, family. Happy 4th of July. Happy Sunday. Yes, happy 4th. Happy 4th. Zoom room is in effect, and I'm getting on Twitch right now. Okay, so we're going to be busy. We're going to be busy today. And as promised, the guest is here. Yay! And uh, he'll be coming ooh, on. Ooh. He'll be coming on in a little bit, in about 20 minutes. 20 um, minutes? Um, and uh, I won't be the one interviewing him, but she will be uh, interviewing <laughs> our guest uh, for today, <laughs> Q Paris. And uh, we'll get to know a little bit more about him and uh, what makes him uh, love the music that we love. So, and produce, because the man is a producer, if you don't know. Y'all better ask somebody, go on track source, put his name, Google the name. The man has a lot of amazing music out, and uh, I've actually played some of it. So, but anyway, talking about tracks, this is the new one uh, by Oscar P and myself. Um, It's been charting uh, really, really well. So thank you to all the DJs, all the producers, everybody that's been charting the the track. Um, Definitely appreciate the love. Um, but this is Dumb Scott featuring Nasa, um, me Fresniso. Um, it's Brazilian, um, but this is the rework again by yours truly and Oscar P, my brother, out there in the, in the West Coast in the San Diego. And talking about San Diego, um, yours truly will be going out there. Um, they have a festival coming up in the end of August, I believe. I forgot the dates. I got to look it up. I think it's the 20th to the 23rd. Something like that. But anyway, um, and then Miami. Um, I'll be in Miami at the end of this month, if not the beginning of next month for sure. Um, shout out to Sandy, uh, Keep It Deep family, uh, Ben and Christina out there. Miss you guys. I can't wait to go back. Uh, Sandy and I have been talking um, a lot lately, actually, about what we're going to be doing. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Um, I can't wait uh, to get going now that everything is opening up. Um, I can't wait to be uh, traveling the world like I used to uh, back in the day. It feels like it was uh, forever. <laughs> it feels like a long, long time ago. But anyway, let's get back to the music. Um, like I said, we have a guest, Q Paris, here. This is the new track I'm playing right now that's been charting really well. Once again, thank you to everyone that's been supporting the track. And thank you to Dewey for your two month subscription. Oh, thank you, Dewey. We see you. Thank you. We see you. And everybody in the chat room as well. I I, I forgot who was in there. Hold on. We've got... Oh, Alpine. Yeah, my boy in D.C. in Maryland. He does a show every Saturday. Yo, I don't know how he does this. He's up at like 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning doing a house show. I'm like, yo, that's dedication. That's that's passion for the music right there. You get up at 8 o'clock in the morning, 9 o'clock in the morning and playing for like four or five hours. Yo, your neighbors must love you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is. You know, at least I wait till the afternoon, you know, to drive them crazy. But okay. Shout out to Greg as well. I see you in the chat room, guys. Let everybody know we're here. Yes. Do what it do. So anyway, let's get back to the music. We'll get back to talking a little bit later. Let's go.
I wanna love you and treat you right. I wanna love you every day and every night. We'll be together with the roof right over our heads. We'll share the shelter of my sin. Put your blood on the bread. Is this love? Is this love? Is this love? Is this love that I'm feeling? Is this love? Is this love? Is this love? Is this love that I'm feeling? I wanna love.
be able to lose yourself on Skag or skip out for beer during commercials because the revolution will not be televised.
Okay, it's interview time. All right. Before he gets on. I am hyped. Hyped, 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 hyped. Hold on, so, Ray. Q. Can you put... I, I, I was saying Q and it's Q Paris. Oh. <laughs> crew, Ray, crew. Say crew. You, can we put him here so that he can be with the mic? Well, he has a mic right there. Oh. Come on Oh, now. that's what happens when your co-host shows up late because of traffic. <laughs> no, we gotta move. We gotta. You gotta move. We gotta move you over so people yeah, can see, no, you. We see you. Wait. But uh, we gotta load the music a little bit so you, everybody can hear what's gonna be asked and said. Is he gonna be over here instead so he can be seen in the camera. Yeah. So, our tribal life radio family. Today I get to be in my element and do an interview. Finally been waiting how many months now? Huh, Ray? Uh, we have three months. Three months now. All right, so today's special guest is Crew Paris. <laughs> how do you feel about that intro, huh? Um, is it Paris, Crew Paris? How do you like being called? It's, it's Crew Paris, but... Uh, Into the mic. It's Crew Paris, but the Paris thing was funny. It was cool. So, what titles do you have, sir? Uh, DJ, producer, that's, that's pretty much it, yeah. That's so give us a little insight. How long have you been a DJ, first and foremost? Um, I've been doing it for a little bit. Uh, I start, I didn't I didn't get in the house of, at first. I started out doing hip hop, like R&B. And uh, I was always around house music. I had, a, I had a cousin, an older cousin that was a dancer. Mm -hmm. So like in the 90s, I would hear everything because he was a dancer, so he'd bring all these I watched him get dressed, get ready to go out. And I fell in love with the music, but I didn't play it as I, as I grew up. So, um, I don't know what happened, man. I just, I got bored with hip-hop. I got bored. Like the you music got bored? Started, yeah, the music started to change and everything started to sound the So same. what year bored. do you think the music started to change? Let's see if um, we're all on the same page. I mean, like, once the 2000s hit, to me, it got, you know, it got redundant. I got tired of hearing it. You know, uh -huh. it was just like, everything was shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, kill him, uh -huh, kill him. Uh -huh, I, just, uh -huh. I just lost interest in it. So then, how did you transition into um, the message? It was a it was a message. I'm 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 really uh, particular about what I what I play in terms of the message that it sends out. And I felt like house music always had that message. I mean, even from when I was a kid, watching my cousin, as uh -huh. I said before. So I what would you say your message is? If if we had to like narrow it down to say. Crew Paris has a message. What would you say your music and its message is, and what oh, it represents? Man, I don't even feel it's mine. I just think that's the message that the music sends, period. I think it's love, unity, you know, be yeah, free. I agree. You know what I mean? And I how do you how do you think the music and the love and being free has changed you? What has it brought into your life? Um peace. <laughs> <laughs> peace. That's that's the big thing. That's the big I'm I'm really low key. I say to myself, but when I'm playing house music, it's it's like uh I guess it's like my alter ego. You can speak so, through your music. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Like it's when I so, let go. It's like when I yeah, let go. Yeah, you can go. speak so, through your music. Yeah, like, so that's, that's I'm, I'm more vocal when I play than I am in life. You and know social. I mean? Like, this is the yeah. most I've talked to anybody. I don't talk. <laughs> oh, wow. So, yeah, like, I asked him so for So we're getting his, some exclusives here. So I asked him for his IG page. He said he didn't have it. So you were saying, like, it's kind of your alter ego. So would you say your name, Crew Paris, is your alter ego name? Oh, or absolutely. how did that name come about? Um... I, honestly, I was just trying to go with something different, and that's what I came up with. And everybody laughed at it. Like everybody thought it was a joke. Yo, me too. Yo, Stingray. Every yo, when I was in college, my my boy Raz. Yo, shout out to Raz in Brooklyn. Um, but we're we're back in those days, drinking 40s, yeah, yeah, smoking yeah. blunts on the stoop, and they were like, "Yo, this DJ Ray got to go. We got to think of something different." They were like, "Yo, so." Raz was the one like, "Yo, let's call him Stingray." Everybody started laughing. <laughs> yo, because. I was always the short one in, in the group. Like, everybody was always taller. I yeah. was always the short one. So it was like, yo, let's call him Stingray. That's yo, he's always, he's always stinging people with his music yo, and his drumming crazy. and that's dancing crazy. and all that. So I was like, a joke. Everybody laughed. 30 something years later. Yo. <laughs> so do people still react that way to your name, to Crew Paris? Nah, I got a little more weight on it. They 
take it a little more serious. He's like, yes. put some respect yeah, on yeah, my they name. Take it a little yeah, more serious. exactly. <laughs> I mean, my sister, that's exactly what she did for the intro. Like, she always goes, Guru Paris. That's cool. Yeah, like, she I love it. It's, yeah, no, it's dope. Paris. It's dope. It's like, um, it, it's funny how people know each other through social media, and then when you actually meet in person, is it, it takes up a, a, a whole nother level. Yeah. And, and I think it was the same for, for him and me. We knew we throw you know through social media. Yeah. I would check his show, he check our show out. And um, it was about three weeks ago, I, yeah. I believe. Um, yeah. on a Friday, um, Deuce Martinez and Minnie Mills does a block party um, here in Newark, New Jersey on Edison Place. And um, right, Edison yeah, Edison Place, I believe. Yeah. Right. Place, huh? Right. So, is uh, if y'all haven't been here, look at my uh, Instagram page. I have video on there of the of some of the black parties, but they are insane. Yo, Crazy. I mean, Crazy. insane. Like, it, are you it's, playing one? Like, you about to play yeah, one, right? yeah. I'm gonna be playing so, that one soon. One of the questions I had is, who's your bu biggest music influence in the scene or artistically that has inspired um, and motivated you to be crew buddies? Honestly, Mark Francis, because Mark, Mark was the dude that took a chance on me. Like, I was at the shelter anniversary, passing out CDs, you know what I mean? Nobody was paying me no attention. And I gave him a CD, I just wrote it off, like, this dude gonna trash my CD. But okay. he took it home, he listened to it, and he called me the same night, he called me, I'm like. Oh, wow. Yeah, the phone rung, I was like, I'm gonna listen, I'm let it ring again. Uh -huh. back. Yo, what's up? Who's this? It's Mark Francis. I'm like, man. Stop I'm playing. playing, man. Like, <laughs> right? He's like, nah, nah, for real, it's Mark Francis. So we talked, and that was it, man. He, he, he took a chance. He took a chance. So how was that experience yeah. for you? Um. And what were the steps yo, that you took to get to the level that you're at? Um, it's been dope, man. He, he, he taught me a lot about production, a lot, of, like, just sonically, you know what I mean? How to present records. Like, he taught me a lot. And yeah, that's that's shaped me until what I Who you are right today. Now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's been like that's been everything for me, honestly. That's yeah. So like that whole shelter sound. That's that's mm -hmm. I'm totally inspired by that. Cause, yeah, you know. Shout out to Mark Francis, by the way. Yo, yes. Mark Francis is the man. He, it, as a matter of fact. I ain't gonna go into the story because it's, it's, it's about him today, not me. Nah. But <laughs> but um, real quick, just to, to let you people know how big and important Mark Francis is. Uh, if it wasn't for Mark, I wouldn't be in the apartment I'm in today. Um, being able to have this space, um, and this peace, um, this freedom that I have. Um, so Mark, shout out to you, we love you. Um, we're gonna have you here as well. That's so, a snapple fact. Yeah, we definitely gotta have Mark Francis here, that's so for sure. But I anyway. Told, I told Crew Paddy that I would give him a few monkey wrench uh -oh. left questions. So let's save those. Let's save those. Nope. That, no. Oh. Give me one. Let's go. Give me one. Give me one. What's been your most embarrassed experience as a DJ? Oh, okay. Um, That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> All right. So when Mark first, you know, he first put me down or whatever, I was, I was nervous. I was nervous as hell. Like, Oh, bendito. It's crazy. Yeah. crazy. Yeah, no. We've been there. We've all been there. Yeah, yo, it was his birthday party. Like, it was jam-packed. Like, it was, yo, it was packed. Bomb, 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 how bomb, so? Right? I don't know. It just wasn't clicking that night, and and I was nervous. I think the nerves got the yeah. best of me, and that's like my first time playing in front of a, a big. Uh, I mean, like yeah. yo, it was packed. <laughs> and in my mind, I did horrible, but people came up like, yo, it was fine. You got into it after a while. I'm like, yo, shit, man, this is crazy. Ah, but, so your embarrassing moment actually turned out to be a good moment. Yeah. Other people's eyes. In other people's eyes, but I knew like, yo, this is. So it's now, what do you crazy. do when you think you're bombing? Like, how do you get your mind right? How do you um, check yourself? I don't know. I just got, I got, I got a little more confidence, so I kind of have more composure. You know, like even if it's not going my way, I still know how to control myself, as opposed to let the nerves get the best of me. So, like right now, we about to play. My my drive's not yeah. reading the way I wanted to read, right? But I'm more composed than I would have been, you know, back then. It's like, Okay. Okay. You got, you got some years under, underneath the belt, so yeah, you're yeah, good yeah. now. You know, <laughs> I got some experience. <laughs> so we're gonna go back to the music, but I have a lot more questions to ask him, and there's a few more monkey wrench and one really, really left question to put him on the spot. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so let's get, yeah, let's get back to the music. Thank y'all for tuning in and hanging out with us once again. Uh, looking forward to this set. Let's go. Ah, no.
Okay. Wow. Yes. Yes. He's like, yo. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing good. Yo, are you killing me? I'm like kidding me. Like, what? Yo. Ray, but you know, you know what I loved is that. Um, you got me dancing. Put it that way. Yeah. Not Ray every was DJ. Dancing. Not every DJ. If you get me to dance. And hold on, hold on. Let me let me look at yes. you when I say this. You gotta look at him. If you if you get me to dance, yeah, you you're doing something right. Cause I don't yo. And you played some songs that I absolutely love. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. I was super impressed. I know you're the shit already. Nah. But you know. Yeah, yo, dope, dope set. I dope. mean, yo, thank you, man. I, you should see everybody's comment in the chat room. Yo, I appreciate. Uh, chosen, what's up, chosen? Oh, that's my uh, man right there. That's my yeah, man. that's my boy. That's my brother. Anita, that's family. Mel. Yeah, Chosen's Venus, family. What's up, Chris? Dewey, yeah, everybody. Uh, uh, Agua, BB, Greg. Yeah, yeah. Just thanks. everybody's up in here. Money, Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. Carla, Big Jack, Mo. Um, yeah, there's so, a, lot, a lot of people. Thank you. Thank that's you all. Crazy. That's crazy. So we're going to continue on the interview. And I, I already oh. forewarned him that I like to throw in some random stuff to embarrass people or throw people off. Okay. But my question is, when did you lose your virginity? And to who? Um, man. Yeah. <laughs> she was not playing with the left No, I was not. Um, I, I held on for a little while, man. I, I, I lost my virginity at 18, 19. Wow, good, Okay, good, do you good remember, job. do you good remember job. to who? Um, yeah, I remember to who I married her. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Okay, okay, so were you Absolutely. were you already DJing at the time when you lost your virginity? Um, no, nah, I was I was actually because I, I used to um, I used to produce hip hop as well, so I wasn't DJing, I was producing, but I was, I was like rap. Okay, so. so then how did losing your virginity affect your work, your music, and how you produced music? Um, did it play any role into the music? No, no, no. Because I, I I try my best to separate my personal life from the music, so it didn't, no, it didn't affect the music. It didn't affect it for the negative or for the, for the positive. It, just, it was just something on the side that, you know, a relationship we had building. Music was a different relationship, and we, you know, we chose to keep those two separate. Nice. I don't, I don't no. feel like, you know. No. I like that. No. And you know what I like? He wasn't even shocked by the question at all, which is... Nah. Five. Yeah. <laughs> I told cool, you, like, hey, cool, man, calm, you know, and collective. Right. What yeah, You're yeah, cool, it, calm, and collective. Whatever, whatever He's like, bring got, it. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> tell us a little bit about your music trajectory. Like, what have you done? Who have you worked with? Um, For those that don't know, who? Well, Mr. Mark, Paris is. Mark Francis, of course. Um, I've done, like, the bang outs. I played with Jihad. Um, I played with Naeem Johnson. Um, my man Chosen, that's on that We haven't got a chance to work, but we, but we, we did something together. It was crazy in D.C. We had a lot of fun. I'm like, I'm still building my resume. I got a lot of people that I want to do stuff with, but that hasn't come to fruition yet. So who, who, can you give us a little idea of who you'd like to work with so we can throw it out there into the universe? Because, um, you know, words are powerful and speaking it into existence is powerful. So we might as well use this platform yeah, for that. Let's do it. Spinner, DJ Spinner, production-wise, he's like one of my favorite producers. I think his bass lines are crazy. Um, Flint Underground. My man right here, hopefully, but that's gonna happen now, yeah, so. Yeah, no, but that's right. gonna happen. I mean, we, we talked before the show, so, I mean, we I told him if, we, if he would've bought his laptop, we would've been making music right after the yeah. show. Oh, and honestly, man. Like, I know it's gonna so. like, sound cliche, but the person that I really wanted to work with was Mark Francis, and now, like, that's my man, so we, we do work together. Like, he's one of my favorite DJs before I, I mean, he still is, but before I got to know him, I wanted to work with him. Well, matter of fact, can, can, you tell, can you tell the audience, um, the story um, about how he told you he had somebody oh. to play percussion <laughs> for one of your tracks, and yeah. So we was we was talking one day, and he was, he was looking for uh, like a Congo player to play, you know, some, some live in, some live percussion on the track. And he came, he's like, "Yo, I found somebody, I got somebody, I got somebody." I'm like, "Oh, that's dope, man. That's, that's what's up." He's like, "Yeah, good dude. I got him." I'm like, "I bet." And in my mind, I'm like, "Damn, I hope I get to use him too." Shit, right? So I'm sorry, kind of curse. Yes, yes you can curse. Of course. So, um, Adult show. I go down to the block party. I, I go to meet my man Chosen. He was up here from D.C. He introduced me to Stingray. So we 
talking? And you're out of the camera view. So okay. Like, you're gonna come in, come in, because people need to see. <laughs> we good? We good? Uh, all right. Okay. <laughs> okay, so he introduced me to, to Stingray, and we're talking, and he invites me to the show, and I'm like, okay, that's cool. I'll get to come here. He tell me, just move downtown here, you know, whatever. So I go back, I tell Mark, I'm like, yo, I'm gonna um, do Stingray show. He's like, yo, that's the... That's the Congo play. That's the dude I'm talking about. And this is like this is like three days apart that it happened. This is like three days apart that it happened. So it was it was small world. Like it was really shocking to know that three days ago they just set that up and then I met him down at the block party. Yeah, once so again, y'all y'all you gotta come. One Friday, it's gonna happen every Friday from four to ten. They have uh, different DJs every week. Um, last. Even though it rained, they did start it outside and then they moved it indoors. But they had Hector um, Romero uh, was was there. Yeah. Um, Yo, they 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 doing it they doing it the right way. It's nice down here when they yeah. do the block parties official. And and the sound is 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 amazing. Like it's not like a a block party you go to and you see and you hear like yeah. cans. No, you you hear the music. <laughs> So, Paris, what keeps you inspired and what inspires you as a producer and as a DJ? Um, just newness. Just newness. As long, I always look for new stuff. Um, as long as music's coming out or I have the ability to make something new, then that's it. You know, I'm inspired by just being able to create and listening to my peers create. As long as you're making some good new music, you know, I'm good. I'm good. That's really all I need. How would you say the music scene has changed, especially in the house community? Sometimes it feels a bit of a, a popularity contest. Sometimes it feels a bit money hungry. Um, I think that we've replaced the love of music with the love of money, you know, and I think the music takes a hit in that way. I, I wish it would go back to, you know. So what would you say would have to happen? Like, how do you, okay, so being that I always, I always say that people have to take responsibility for certain stuff. Absolutely. So how would you say you're taking responsibility? Like, what are the steps you're doing to bring it back, back to the love? Um, I'm, I'm clicking with my fellow DJs, and um, sometimes, you know, just do stuff for free. Like, everything doesn't have to be charged. You know, you, it's not a price, but everything doesn't come with a price. You know what I mean? So to restore the unity and, and just the sense of community, you know, sometimes you do things pro bono. Like, don't, don't chase the money all the time. If, if you're good at what you do, the money will chase you. You know what I mean? So that's, that's my attitude. Don't chase the money all the time. So how do you feel about house music possibly cro crossing over? Do you think that would ever be a possibility in the future? Crossing over as far as what? Like this EDM Just stuff? commercial. Just commercialized, oh, like I, on radio. I feel like it's, it'll be soulless if it did. I feel like it takes the soul out of it. I think one of the reasons why house music sounds the way it sounds is because it's underground. It's because we've, we've managed to protect it, right? And keep this sacred, right? So once we once we give it to them, you know, you know like I said about the money. Once you give it to them, it's all about money. So keep the soul in it, keep the feeling in it by keeping it ours. Yes. So what artists do you do you like and who would you like to work with as a producer? Um, not DJs and not oh, other just, producers, oh, just oh, artists just in general. Artists. Oh. Yes. Wow. And it oh, could be man. in any market. It doesn't have to just be in the house community. It could um, even be hip hop. It could be R&B. Toshi. That's house, but yeah. I, I, I and why love, would you say Toshi? I just love her. I love her. Like I don't, I don't, I don't know. There's something about what's in her voice. Like I, you know what I mean. Dope. Even though, yeah, even though, even though, voice. I, I don't speak her yeah. language. I don't understand it, but I, but I understand yeah. feeling. I understand emotion. It's just something about what's in her voice. Um, who else would I get? Um, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a soulful kind of jazz like singer. Her name is Celeste. I think she's. Yeah. Celeste is, is amazing. Celeste is amazing. I would love to, I would love to do something house oriented with her because I hear it in her voice. I hear it in her music. She's really dope, and, and, and she's on the radar. You know I mean? So if we were to pick up like your playlist, what what's on your playlist oh, currently? Oh, my playlist is crazy. It's like you know, how eclectic is it? It's it's so random. You would not think that it was mine. It's so like, tell I got, us. Like I got anything from Kings of Leon to Prince to. Willie Nelson, like it's oh, my playlist is crazy. Like, and how do you, and then you incorporate might get, like, that? Like J Cole, like it's, it's yeah. random as hell, bro. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. So how do you incorporate that into your music, or does um, it is it even used or beneficial? It's not incorporated in my music. It's incorporated in my personality because I just I don't listen to anything that doesn't give me a feeling. So it's not really in my music. It's just in me. It, it makes yeah, me yeah. feel, right? and 
and I, and I try to make Just you music. Feel, and I try to make yeah. you feel when I play. Like playing is like exchange of energy, right? So yep. you're giving it to me, I'm giving it to the decks and the mixer and we sit it back out. And it's just recycled energy. It's just recycled yeah. energy. So I, I hear you because it's like, um, so for, for those of you that are um, witnessing this now and, and missed the first one, but on my days off of work, um, I'm starting this little thing called um, Therapy Sessions by Stingray, mm. um, where I'm basically playing um, for my soul um, and, and playing for other people that might be going through things and, and need to hear some good music. Um, so, um, I did the first one last week, um, I, I, and, and there was a few people there that, um, it was dope, it was, it was a dope show, um, but yeah, it's something new that I'm starting, um, not necessarily percussion driven, but just music driven, deep house, soulful house, uh, of course, Afro mixed in there somewhere, but just, um, music that, um, for therapy, for your soul, um, so yeah, it's called Therapy Sessions by Stingray. Um, and actually, um, Tuesday, either Tuesday or Wednesday, um, I will be on um, to do that. So we got to get crew to come in to do a therapy session Absolutely. for people. Oh, yeah. Start healing Absolutely. people. Absolutely. Yes, yes. Absolutely. So um, being that we live in, in a world where people like to connect, like you said, and um, for the younger viewers that don't know, um, how would you describe yourself so that people could be able to connect and associate a word or a feeling to you if you you were to be able to describe yourself to somebody like in one word in a few words okay. it doesn't have to necessarily be one word um laid back very approachable easy going i don't i never take myself too serious you know that doesn't mean i, I, that I don't take life serious i just don't take myself so serious you know what I mean? like cats that want to be like the superstar dj mm -hmm. you know what i mean nah, i don't i don't i'm not into that just me, man. Yeah. Just me. The same way I'm here right now. That's just. just I'm always like this. And yes. I, I love music. When I read the plate and talk, like I don't, you know, I just like the just music, man. That's it. Yeah. But you do realize uh, people need to know who you are as well. Like they love your music, but I'm sure many people have been interested. Being that you're so low key, is finding out more about you, like what moves you, what drives you. So what would you say moves and drives? You? Um, moves and drives me. Yeah. It's that's a good question. What moves and drives me? Um, myself, man. I'm self-motivated. Um, I just don't. I don't. I don't get up for nothing. When I wake up, I have a purpose. You know what I mean? Whether it's every music day. or yeah, you know. I just every I try day. to wake up with an agenda every day. So it's no one particular thing. Just being able to wake up moves and drives me. Right? Because so many of us. Are gone. We don't get the chance to, right? And you take it for granted when you wake up and do nothing. Your whole day passed by. You did nothing. Yeah. I don't like days like that. Mm -hmm. I try to do something. Yep, every exactly. Day, you know something. I mean? so exactly. Just life motivates and drives me. The yeah. ability to have it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up our chat room, and um, if you guys would like to, because we're gonna continue with the show. But what I would like for our listeners to do is that if you have any questions, type it in so that I may be able to pick a few questions from you guys as well, because you know I like to get you guys involved because you're very much a part of this show. So yes, indeed. that will be the next part, and I'm going to think of a, another left question to ask him. Ah, let's do it. All right, we got a little bit more of the show, so yep. let's go. Tribal Life Radio. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Yo, I, I know you said you are not good interviews, like you said earlier, but you are. Yeah. Yeah, you are. <laughs> That was good. That was good. So once again, guys, thank you once again. We're having fun. Um, he's going to go back on and finish up a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to try to do like a last half hour set. Um, so we could extend it, yeah, for a little bit. just um, so We, can we get... are chosen. That will be one of the next questions. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you want to do that on the next segment? On the next segment. All right. Sure, cool. You want to do it now? I'm ready for it. Let's okay. get it. Oh, okay. We are chosen said to tell us or to tell me about good company. Oh, oh, absolutely. That's something that me and Chosen started. We were, we were like right at the beginning of the pandemic, we had a, we had a party going. It was called Good Company. The whole vibe and the idea behind it is when like we talking about, you know, not motivated by money, just DJs getting together, putting that community feeling back into it. And um, 
the coronavirus killed it, of course, so we didn't get to do it. We're starting it back up oh, now. That, that was my next question. Are you guys intending to start it again? Yeah, we're starting it back up now. We're looking at like late August, maybe September. So it's going to be me, him, and I believe we have DJ Zion from Brooklyn first. And then we're going to do we're gonna do it back and forth between, you know, here, D.C., maybe Brooklyn. And we're going to get a different DJ every time. So we try to get that community feeling back, you know what I mean, amongst DJs. Yes. So you I guys like heard it here. Um, so we'll be expecting you guys to show up to some of the events, if not all of them, to yeah. show support because we got to continue keeping this going and supporting each other. Like yeah. he said, energy exchange, it's all about energy. And it's called Good Company. That's the name of the party. Remember that name. And you're, But how can we forget your good company? There we go. There we go. <laughs> Hello. 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 So with that being said, yeah, let's get back to the music. Um, this has been a, a dope show, and I'm looking forward to having more guests. I'm um, so happy that he's our first guest. Yes. <laughs> no, I that's... I'm going to be honest. I, I haven't done an interview in a while, and it's been easy. Thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. You yeah. That's what's up. <laughs> Chosen. What brother? What's going on? Anyway, let's get back to the show. He's gonna take us back. Get ready, guys, get ready. Yes, Dewey, it's a relaxed interview because his energy is so chill, so chill. I think he calmed me down. He calmed me down. And you guys know that's hard to do. Travel Life Radio, let's go.
What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing out here? So, crew, were you bragging? Were you being braggadocious just a little bit? Ah. But were you being braggadocious while you were on the set? Nah. Oh, the dreaded text messages. The dreaded text messages. But we do have one question um, that we are chosen has asked. earlier you had said that you were in the beginning into hip hop so you know how how was that transition in finding your sound and how did you find your sound let's like remove mark okay. from the story yeah, right yeah, because it's it's really about you how did you find your sound especially um, when you were in a different basically like a different completely different category of music okay i found my sound through like i said the message in the music so that that drew me to leave right to hip hop and go to house and once i got there I knew what I wanted to say, and the whole community was already, you know, gearing in the direction of something positive, so I just kind of sprinkled my voice into the pot. I, I, I knew what I wanted to say, and I knew I couldn't say it through hip-hop, and yeah, that was it. That was it. As far as finding a, a, a particular sound, um, I had to, it was trial and error, really. It was trial and error. I had to, I mean, I had a couple bombs that was like, ah, oh, man, that's garbage, and then I just, I, like I said, stay true to it. Keep going, keep going figured out what I wanted to do as far as like the pace of my music, um, which is why I started the tempo thing, right? And um, I stuck with it. People were telling me I was playing too fast. People were telling me like the stuff I was doing was too high energy, but I stuck with it. I stuck with it. So, you know, it's interesting to hear how you were saying that you play according to the message, right? And then, of course, now the sound. So, geez, here we go, Ray, COVID brain. <laughs> yes. Hold on. Um, okay. So, would you say that when you play, are you playing for you? Because, like, Ray's trying to teach me how to how to DJ a little. Just like I'm doing it for me, right? Because I like music, right? Yeah. And I noticed that when he allows me to play, I love music so much that I get into it. And I'm like, I'm playing a track. And I'm like, ooh, ooh. And yeah. then he's like, Liza, you gotta remember when you're playing, you also gotta play for the audience. Absolutely. But then I'm like, okay, but if you're being honest with yourself, I think the, 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 it'll the translate to the audience. Will translate into the audience. Is that the case with you, or do you play already with the understanding of what you think people like, or do you pay attention to the uh, I, I play with the intention to make you move. I understand that, you know, you have to watch the crowd and, and read the crowd. That's a big part. If you're not doing that, like, yo, what are you doing? It's not a one man party. But I also play to educate, right? So like, I'm gonna give you what you want, but I'm also gonna teach you something too. I'm gonna give you something that you may not know, something that maybe it's old, you haven't heard it, something. If you can't leave hearing me play and not question a track, you know what I mean? I, like, if you don't question the track, I didn't do my job. You should at least question a couple tracks. Like, yo, what was that? Yep, exactly. It's, it's, you know, because we DJs, but we educators as well. Like, you know, they get the music from us. Yeah, because exactly. I do, I do get, it's get cool, like, us. when the DJ plays certain tracks that you're already used to, but then it becomes repetitive. So when yeah. a DJ does throw something out, and you're like, yo, what is this? Yeah, they get the music from us. So if you don't, if you don't introduce anything new, then you kind of stagnate the community, right? Because you're not introducing anything. So it's like, damn, I heard all 30 of these songs before. Yeah. Give exactly. them something for them, right? Give them something for them, but after you got them, give them something that they don't know. Something so then you. technically, you do you ever play for yourself? Um, 
I think I mean for for me I I, I do in, in a in a way yeah. right because you, you're playing music that you like exactly right and me as a dancer as a percussionist and as a producer like for me it like I feel like if I'm dancing and even if I'm move even if I'm not moving but I'm dancing in my head and I'm and yeah. I'm dancing in here I know someone else someone is gonna feel, feel it yeah. you know what I mean so like I I do a set. And I'll play music. Every vocal track will have a, a meaning, like like you said earlier. Every track will have a meaning as to what I want to say. Mm -hmm. And it and it can be just to one person or to the whole entire world. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You know what I mean? So it is it's a power of music, and, and that's what I love about music. It's yep. like I'm blessed to to have the family that I have, the background, the the, the upbringing, to to be able to to do what I do and then be able to pass it on and, and, and let other people hear my creations or hear my, my, my passion or, or my soul because that's what you put into it when you when you do your music. Yeah. Which, yeah, does that, does that ever happen? Have you ever had a set where you were going through something and the set, it kind of yeah. translated what you were going through? Oh, absolutely. Is it intentional or unintentional? Um, that's a little bit of both, I think, right? Because sometimes, sometimes you, you're feeling so overwhelmed with whatever you're going through, you don't even realize that you selected that song. And then once it's playing, you're like, oh, man, this is crazy, right? And you still got to put your face on it and you know, party, but people don't realize how much it means to you. And in the same way, like, I talk to dancers, I talk to party goers, and they share memories, whatever, right? And you don't realize, like, damn, yo, this, people attach memories to these songs. People attach yes. moments to these songs. Yes. So sometimes you play something, and it can take a person right back to, like, where they were, like, I mean, down to like what it smelled like. It's crazy. People just, you know what I mean? So it's, I'm There's glad that you said that. These songs, bro. I'm glad that you said that because that was a segue into the question that I have. Yeah. What would you say are a few of the tracks that bring you to a place? But what would you say is one of the most memorable tracks that you hear and it just bam? Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Like, like you got to take us there. The Edu like, okay. Educate us. Like, for me, right, like, the whistle song takes me back, like, way back. And I, I think, because I can see, like, my, my cousin, you know, like, getting ready to go out, you know what I mean? Like, ironing clothes, getting fresh, like, putting his bees on and shit, right? I'm like, damn. I can almost see, like, my old kitchen in my grandmother's house. Like, it just takes me back to those moments when I, when I was looking up to him and watching him go out. And it was just, it was a different feeling, a different time. So that's, that's a big track for me when I hear it. I don't play it as much as I probably should, being that I'm not connected to it. But when I hear it, it's like, oh, shit. That's why, like, that's why I started therapy sessions. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly for, because of that reason, just because that, that those connections that you have to these songs. Yeah. Like, I... I, if you, if anybody watches the the last show, you'll see I, I cry. I, I, you know, I I I'm not ashamed about it. I'm a grown fucking man. I'm 49 years old. I got four kids. I've been married. Do all that. Been there. Done that. I don't care. You know, these are songs that that touch me, and I know it's touching somebody else mm -hmm. the same way. You know what I mean? So I, I'm not ashamed of uh, if, you know, if, it, if I shed a tear or two during my set because that's just. How it how it touched me, you know? Yeah, never no more lonely. That's another track for me. Never no more lonely. Nice. Um, and and and, and um, Timmy did like a shelter edit of, of Prince, the beautiful ones, right? Oh like, my god. That I just like that do something because I, like, I I used to, that was my favorite movie. Like I used to watch it with my wife like all the time. Well, you already know. Watching the um, you know. Movie. Yeah, word. And it's like even though that's an edit, like it's still is I don't know. Man, mm -hmm. That song just when I play that, man, I could lose myself. I, I, I might let the song just ride all the way out. Yeah. So you were saying how you don't play the whistle song that much because you don't connect to it. Um, I want you to give us two songs. Um, a song that connects you to when you first started music, not the whistle song, okay. that would connect us to you to help us understand you. And okay. what song would we connect today? And it could be from any era that connects us to you, Crew Paris, today. Okay. So um... the beginning and who you are now. Sorry to make you think so much, but no, no, that's no, no, what no, it no. is. Cool. I just want to make sure I pick the right joints. I got so many songs running through my head. Um, it's the Eddie Grant train. Nobody's got the time. Right, the, uh, nobody's got the time. Nobody's got the time. The old Eddie Grant joint? Yeah, yeah. yeah that. That's that, the 
that old you? Yes, yes, told me that 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 connection. And what's the connection? Um, Probably family. What happened? Probably family. Yeah, it's family. It's family, and it's also just like I I, I had an uncle that was he passed away, but he was really 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 he was really really influential and just like the conditioning of my mind. Like he just taught me a lot and. It was, a, it was a line in that song that just reminds me of him. And this, Which this line song, is it? I'm, I'm trying to remember the words to the song. Right. <laughs> right? Um, but in, in the subject matter of that song, just reminds me of him. Because he was just like a, a super duper pro-black dude and just always trying to like influence us to, you know, do the right thing, man. And that song just, you know, um, what is it? can't sing, so I don't want to keep singing. But, you know, like, just, just the message in that song was just was just positive, and I just attached it to my uncle, and that's why that song, when I hear it, it's just like, damn. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, mm-hmm. And then one for the current crew party. Um, for the current me, I don't think that song's come out yet. <laughs> I don't think that song's nice. come out yet. The reason why. Yeah, or, or you haven't made it yet. Maybe I haven't made it, right? You haven't right? made it yet. I don't think it's going to be a song by me. because I don't, You I don't, don't know I, that. I don't listen to my music. <laughs> you don't listen, <laughs> yeah, I don't to, listen to my music. No, I don't. You know, I'll play it, but like I don't really listen to it. Like I listen to other people's music in the house. Uh-huh. Just whatever. I listen to it. I don't listen to me. I'll play me, but I don't listen to me. Because you spend so much time making it. By the time you put it out, you don't want to hear it again. <laughs> <laughs> you spend so much time. You, so you know, you? man. I, just, yeah, you I know. know right? I know. I, that's why sometimes like I, I, I'll... I'll do a set and she gets mad at me because she's like you ain't playing any music it's, it's not because I don't want to it's just I'm tired of hearing it yeah. and I feel like and I feel like because I, I'm i tired of hearing it I feel like other people you know, it's like everybody else yo, gotta be tired of hearing it too you something out today and you won't play it you won't play it because yeah. you've been working on it for weeks or months yeah sometimes yeah. okay so since you guys want to say that how does that af- so being that you don't like listening to your music because you're tired but <laughs> No, 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 not that, not that we My don't like bad. listen to it. It's after a while, it's like, you know. It, but it's, it's not about you. It's about the people that love music that follow you. I, so, I'll play it. I'll true. play it. I'll play it for you. But right. Being that it's not about you and it's about the audience, right? And your fans or what have you. How do you feel about their reactions to your music? Like, what does it give you as an artist? How does that ground you how does that root you how does that also motivate you it's crazy um like i said the first time i played with mark i bombed right so uh, in my mind and um the first time that i had like a really really dope night y'all wanted to cry (laughs) i I wanted to cry it was so it was so powerful to see people react to me doing something that i just love and i feel and like i gave them like i said the energy and they gave it back and the way they gave it back was like it was overwhelming bro like i'm telling you it was it, I almost cried. I really did almost cry, yo. Like, on the ride home. I, I would have been crying. I, I couldn't yo. stop talking. On the, ride, <laughs> yo, on the ride home, I couldn't stop talking about it. I was like, damn, it's crazy, man. Like, they really, really responded well. So it was crazy. I don't, I don't believe yeah, they loved that yeah. much of what I did. So yeah. would you say, because I'm an actor, right? So when I do, let's say, theater, it's the same vibe. You're giving off energy and stuff like that. Would you say that you're forever chasing that feeling? Does it, do you chase it? Can't chase it. Okay. Can't chase it. It got to happen organically. Okay. Can't chase it, but when yep. you feel it, you want to live in it forever. But yes, right? you, you yeah. can't. You can't chase it. Yep. You can't chase it. It's the same thing with the yep. money thing. You can't chase it. You gotta let it. You gotta let it happen. No, that's nice that I've played and um, either percussion or DJing or both, and I'll come home after the gig, and it'll take me two or three hours to calm down, just from the energy that that I'm still feeling from from the night and and, and everything that. That transpired. It's see like somebody twirling and twirling and crying and just expressing yeah, it's so like, much emotion, and you like, damn, this is like or when, they or feel when what playing, I feel. They yeah, feel it. it's or when I'm playing gongas and you and you have someone literally lose their lose their soul in, in front of you because they're or feeling show the, their soul. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Um, you know, in front of you because it's just they're it's feeling just it. Dope. You know, it's it, and then. Oh yeah. It's, so it's does different. that does it's that different. also it's, it's, help you? Exactly. Goosebumps. Does that help you also realize how important and how you have to be responsible in what it is that you do? Absolutely. Because it is such an energy. Experience. Yes, for sure. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and, it, and it also 
it also opens up your mind and, and to, to, a, to a different level of appreciation for the dancers and for the people that are just responding to this music because just like you're making them feel some type of way, their response is making you feel some type of way. And it's a deep appreciation. Like, the dancers, man, it's this, bro, I'm telling you, man, they, that's, that, that's important, bro. Yes. That's important. That's important. So I want to I wanna first and foremost thank you for coming and blessing us with your presence. Yes, thank you. Um, no problem. Thank you, thank you, thank you. On top yeah. of that, I, I want to I really share it's that. Like in my eyes. <laughs> There's pollen I, in the room. I really want to, I, again, I want to thank you because, again, you're my first interview in a while. But I want to say that you are an incredible, incredible talent. Yes. Thank you, thank you. I'm looking forward to you producing that track that will connect us to who you are today. And we will be working and together. Some music that will allow me and everybody else to show our soul, to bear our soul. Absolutely. And I'm glad that you are fully aware of the guests that you have and the responsibility that comes with it and the message. Because there's sometimes there's people that I need that I, Ray will tell you, I think that we are responsible for having a purpose and understanding our purpose. Absolutely. And knowing that your craft is connected to your purpose. So thank you for being connected to your purpose and your authentic self. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. I'm sorry I'm a okay. No, it's cool. No, it was a dope, dope set. Uh, yeah, I mean, that the chat room was blowing up. Everybody that's in the chat room, uh, thank you for, for tuning in and hanging out with us. Um, real quick, it is Sunday, so you already know Funkbox. Uh, Tony Touch's birthday was um, a couple of days ago, so happy birthday to Tony Touch, or happy related birthday to Tony Touch. Um, related. Um, also, my daughter, um, it was last week, but happy birthday to my daughter, Lydia. Um, and everyone else celebrating birthday this weekend. Happy 4th to everybody. Um, and also last night, shout out to Becky Nunez and yeah. uh, Cynthia and Rose. Rose. Um, they threw an amazing party last night. Um, Louis, Anani, and um, all the DJs that played, uh, Cuba, uh, Dres, um, uh, John, John Maverick played, uh, Steve, um, oh my God, I can't remember everybody's name, but there was a lot of DJs that played that night, last night. So, and, oh, and um, it's, uh, it, was, it was dope. I went last night, uh, shout out to Angel, uh, shout out to my brother Anthony Rodriguez, what's going on guys, um, and everybody that was there last night. I, mean, I saw so many people, um, a lot, and even people that uh, watched the show. Uh, Marissa was there, uh, and I got to meet her for the first time, um, because we usually see her in the zoo room, or in the chat. So there was a few people that I met like like that last night that was really dope. So um, it was a pleasure to meet everybody last night. Um, it was it was super dope. Um, the energy last night was great. Um, and everybody, expansions, New York City family, uh, Doris, um, uh, Tony C, um, Fred. I mean, everybody, everybody was there. So shout out to everybody. Wait, um, before anything, um, crew, Buddies, this, um, I know you're not you're not on IG, but our viewers would like to know where they can follow you, where they can see your work, and yes. what is it that you have planned, the so best, that we can be on the lookout. It's okay. The best place to reach me is on SoundCloud or Facebook. Like I, I check my SoundCloud daily, and I and I answer people back. So is it under Crew Buddies? Crew Paris. Yeah, you go to Crew SoundCloud Paris? and just type in Crew Paris. You know, okay. um, C R. You're also on Facebook, right? Facebook. Through absolutely. Paris, guys. Through Paris. So be sure to look him up. What do you have coming up that you want us to be on the lookout for? And well, what have you had that, to educate people, what should they go back in your catalog and listen to? I play one of them. Just, just, <laughs> if, you, if you go to the SoundCloud, you'll see everything. Like, I, I guarantee you, you won't be disappointed. And um, coming up, this Friday, I'm at... I'm at uh, the bang out, the bang oh, out. Yeah. I got the bang out yeah. with uh, Magic at Lake Chateau in Woodbridge. And Saturday, I'm at Rowway Train Station. We're doing something there. So that's what I got. Oh, and on um, and, um, the 17th, I'm in Brooklyn at the Acoustic Garden Lounge. Me, Conway, Casey, and Select K. Yeah. Uh, Conway's a super dope producer, too. I'm sure yeah. if you DJ, you got his music. Like, he's, he's oh, yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Definitely. Nice. So Thank I'm you. also, I don't know if he told you that I'm kind of like his manager too. So when are you and Ray going to start working on the next track so that we can um, already start hey man, working on that? What you, what 
what you want to do? Well, I, I, oh, nice. I said earlier, if he would have brought his laptop, we, we would have been working right after the show. We, might, we still might. And then, like, I, I got my laptop here, I mean, so. I can get my car and you come know. back. Not, <laughs> that's two seconds. Yeah, I think we might have to do that. Well, we'll talk after the show. But okay. once again, um, it was a pleasure, man. Yo, um, I, I'm looking forward to everything that's going to happen. Um, it's funny how life works out. You know, when I moved to Jersey, um, I, I didn't know what to expect. I, I thought my, my life was going to... Uh, change for the worse and, and not for the for the better. Oh no! And it, and, it, and it turned out to actually be the total opposite. Um, the people that um, that helped me get here, Mark Francis, one of them, and everyone that that the owners and the property manager of this building, um, everybody shouts up to all of them because they have been amazing, amazing people. Um, my neighbors, um, amazing people. Um, it's just been a pleasure uh, being in Jersey, and I'm finding out little by little how dope Jersey is when it comes to house music. I don't know when exactly it happens, but I actually have a festival, house festival, that happens right across the street from yeah. my house, Lincoln Park. Yeah. I found that out, a couple, well, actually, that night that we talked about it, uh, three weeks ago, I was just like, I, I can't believe it. I was like, a house festival right no. across the street from my house? Uh, yo, you can't ask for anything. I mean, there's 27 festivals I think we talked about in, in, in Jersey that happens every summer. That doesn't happen in New York. I had to scratch my, I had to scratch my head about that one. I was just like, mm. I said, what? Okay, 27 house festivals that happen in New Jersey. And I think they might be... Actually, there's none. Because it's either a block party or a boat, boat ride. Yeah. So there's really no real festival that happens like that in, in, in New York. And, and it ain't like you don't got the space. Hello, Central Park. Uh, I'm just saying. Yeah, but it's that a mission. mission. That's yeah. a mission. Yeah, but well, you know, it, it could be done. It could be that done. Would be I mean, but uh, again, there's other spaces. Not just, I'm just saying, I'm just throwing it out there. I'm just, you know, again, there's other spaces. New but York. It's okay. That's you know, why you got big. Jersey. Exactly. But well, anyway, you're here now. There's exactly. a reason for everything. Everything in life happens as it should. Exactly. Nothing's good or bad. It's how you perceive it. So Absolutely. you're moving. Yeah. Open up more no, doors. No, it was look, great. Now we have that's, a space that's that why, we could actually have guests come in. <laughs> that's why I'm just being thankful. That's why I just wanted to shout out everybody and thank, and thank uh, the Lord as well for blessing me. Um, and first, with, with, with this, with this uh, for my son. And for myself and, and everyone around me, um, it's been it's been great. So I just wanted to just say I'm, I'm grateful. That's that's why I'm, I'm doing all this, just to say I'm grateful. <laughs> Again, uh, Very you grateful know, and you're blessed. Su you're super humble, and I think it's amazing. But I believe in giving people their flowers while they're alive and present. Yeah. And I want to give you your flowers. Your, your Thank you. Excuse the language. You're fucking dope. Thank you. And yep. I'm very, I'm going to be honest, I'm super impressed with you again with the whole purpose and understanding how important your job is. Well, thank you. Yes. I definitely appreciate you guys having me. I appreciate the compliments. Well, we're going we're gonna to be doing a lot more. Um, oh, yeah. But anyway, um, this is the first. Um, I, I have a list of people coming. Um, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I have um, from... Uh, do so our radio I have DJ FM coming next week um, and then the week after that um, I'm hoping to have Mark Francis so I'm gonna be talking to him um, but again this is gonna be going on every week if, if possible um, I you know a guest DJ interview just like we did today um, this was something I was trying to do um, before when I was in Washington Heights, but... And we didn't have the space for it. We didn't really have the space for it. It was, it was kind of limited, but now we do. So um, now that we do, we are going to proceed uh, to make this show bigger and better and, and get a lot of DJs and producers and artists in here. Because I just I don't want to just concentrate on just DJs and producers. I also want to bring photographers, makeup artists, um, because... Well, what I want to do is actually show the, the different people, like I said, actors, everybody else, because music unifies all of us, Exactly. Right? We're all connected through music regardless. Music and food, right? Music and food? Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. So as, as your co-host, that's always been my vision, so I'm glad that we're always on the same page on this. Oh, yes, of course. Of course. I mean, this is something that we talked about when, when we first... Uh, started working together. And of course, I want our listeners to understand that I want them very much involved in this 
So whenever we have a guest, I want you guys sending me messages. And questions. So that I know what the questions are, what the topics yeah. you guys want to hear. Because, of course, I come in here set with whatever it is. Well, today, I, I wanted to, no offense, I'm going to use the, a, a term that's crazy, but I freeballed it. Yeah. Because... I'd rather it be organic as opposed yeah. to writing questions. Yep. But being that we do have an audience and it is to connect with them and get them aware and teach them stuff, I want them involved. So you guys are very much a part of Tribal Life Radio. So I need you guys to always send me questions. Yes. And of course, constructive criticism on how to improve. <laughs> yes. Feedback is always important. Always. It's the only way you grow and get better. Um, but anyway, I'm going to play one more song or two. Um, and end the show and um, I just wanted to thank you once again for tuning in and um, this is again the first of many um, going here and going forward um, and the next one I'm going to play a shout out to Oscar uh, for this one uh -huh. um, um, and it's a it's a song that I, I well I secretly dedicated to her but I'm just going to put it out there and, and say it out loud I'm dedicating this next song to her so Anyway, nice, nice. Um, thank you once again. Shout out to everybody. My family, Lydia Raymond, Santo Mateo. Those are my, my blessings in life, my kids. Um, the reason I, I do everything I do every day and, and try to get better. Um, but anyway, here we are, 2021, and New York is open. Shelter party last night, bananas. I wasn't there, but I heard, I saw videos and pictures. Yeah, I heard it, it was, I heard, it was bananas. Yeah. Uh, the party before that, like I said, Becky and, and St. Rose, bananas. Um, so, that being said, be safe out there. Um, you know, it's still a thing. And I don't want people to go out there thinking, oh, it's open so we could act a fool. Um, no, uh, I, want yes, my, I, I want my family and friends and everyone out there um, to just be safe, be cautious. Um, you know, we, we lost a lot of people already in 2020 and 2021. And it was scary. Um, I lost my father two months ago because of COVID. So um, I'm still dealing with that in a little, in, in a ways, and I know I'm gonna deal with it for the rest of my life. And I don't want anybody else to have to deal with that um, if you still have your parents around. And I mean, you're gonna lose them, but not to something like that. Um, so I just want you guys to be safe and, and just be cautious again. Um, love is love, um, you know, we, we want to preserve what we have while we have it, right? So let's do that. Um, live your life and live it to the fullest. And you guys already know I love you guys extremely. I want to thank each and every one of you for constantly pushing me forward and supporting everything that we do. Um, you already know how I live and how I speak, so I want you guys to be conscious of those around you and... Spread as much love as you can and don't give your power away to anybody. I love you guys. I hope you guys have an amazing week and that the doors keep opening and that the universe and God will continue to shelter and protect you guys and close the doors that need to be closed in your life as well. I love you guys. I'll see you next week. Peace, love, and hair grease. Any last words, my brother? Now you're good? All right. Just thank y'all for having me, man. Thank everybody for, for tuning in. It was definitely special. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. We're going to do it again. We're going to do it again. You, you got me on a chill vibe today. Okay? <laughs> I just realized. Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's good. Chill. That's good, man. That's good. That means we're all comfortable around each other. That's, that's good, right. Man. That's right. That's how it should be. That's how it should be. We love you guys so I'm going to play one more, maybe two. And uh, like I said, we'll see you next week. Uh, and like I said, if everything works out, DJ FM from uh, Deuce Wild Radio is going to be here. My brother, we did actually a party called Beats and Drums in New York City. Uh, Carrera's, um, what, two, three years ago, maybe? Uh, we're hoping to bring it back. So we'll see. We'll see. Well, I'll keep y'all in, uh, in, in the loop with that. But anyway, Ray, one more song. Since you're going to play that song, being that this song was dedicated to me, and it's a very uplifting song for me, and it's possibly a song that I need to hear in my life right now because of the transition I'm going to. So what I want to tell our listeners is to tell those people that you love that are close to you, your friends and family members, that you love them and uplift them because you never know what they're going through. Uplift, uplift, uplift. Energy exchange.
don't you see that my heart belongs to you? My heart belongs to you. My heart belongs to you. Darling, darling, don't you see that my heart belongs to you? My heart belongs to you. My heart belongs to you. Darling, don't you see that my heart belongs to you? My heart belongs to you. My heart belongs to you. Darling, darling, don't you see that my heart belongs to you? My heart belongs to you. My heart belongs to you. Baby, can't you see just how much you mean to me? Can't describe the way that you make me feel. I get so excited when you call my name. Feels like paradise.
everyone that needs to hear it. Because you are. Yes, you are. that I bless you happy, happy fourth yes. please be safe and uh, we have a special little feature only for our zoom family Ray's gonna let me practice so you guys can go on and see <laughs> me learning how to play some music thank you Ray especially now that we don't have anybody to say that we're being too loud <laughs> well, except for my son, but you know, he got an Xbox, he's good. <laughs> anyway, we're going to let this ride out. Um, like I said, we'll see you all next Sunday. Um, and again, enjoy the fourth. Be safe out there. Um, enjoy the week. Have a blessed week. Love you. Miss you guys. Uh, till the next time, peace and love. Venus, I would love to put it on Twitch, but remember, I am just the beginner, so no, it's only exclusive. It's coming, don't worry, it's girl. It's coming, though. It's, it's coming. It's coming. I will be playing, right, Ray? Yep. Hopefully. Yeah, you will. But um, it oh, will no, be no, right now. She will. Just in this, he's like, oh, she will. Yo, Ouch. I'm going to take a break. Oh, you're going to be taking breaks and letting me spin? Yep. During the show? Yep. Oh. Like, when did Ray disappear to? Oh, he's taking a shit. He's gonna be gone for a while. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, guys, Ray has to take a shit, so here it is. Liza with some sound. <laughs> oh, Venus, I love you. Uh, no, I'm too chicken shit to be spinning on, on Twitch. So not yet. follow like on I the Zoom room. Soon. Real soon. Real soon. Zoom room. I'm gonna put the I promise you, I'm gonna put the gonna get on soon. Oh boy, he's promising you guys. That no, means I, that, that I, 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 gotta, I, I gotta put up or shut up. Exactly. Budge. <laughs> and if you guys know me, if you guys know me, everything that I've done, I didn't know how to do, and I've done it. So, you guys know I love music. So I think maybe I can play a little bit. I won't be at, at race status, but enough for you guys to be okay with oh, it. Stop it. You're, so you're, click you're on the play. link if you guys want to be in the Zoom room for a little bit. I'll let you guys see for a little bit. I love you guys. All right, guys. Peace and love. Till next week. <laughs>